Sup everyone, welcome back to another day. So, well, same day, different t-shirt, different hat, different video. Um, it is day 10, day 10 of quitting alcohol, this time. And the thing that I want to discuss today, or this afternoon, in this video is my, uh, my realization that this healing both physically and mentally from these addictions can can only can only really move forward it can only be it can only be completed at least the first part allowing you know the second part aka the rest of your life to um, improve and to develop is to is is um, and in my case it's it's to quit weed so, yes, I've quit alcohol, but it, it, it hasn't been the catalyst that, I, that I'd hoped it would for me to want to get out there and, 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 and meet people and, and be comfortable around new people and, and to initiate conversations and become a social, sociable, normal member of society because that's what I really want. I want to feel comfortable in my own skin around other people, especially whilst having conversations. I want to enjoy it. I want to be able to tell a joke. I want to be able to laugh naturally rather than just feel like I'm faking it all the time. And the one substance that's keeping me from doing that, and having taken out alcohol now for 10 days, I've realized this wholeheartedly, is, is weed. It's smoking weed. And, um, and so over the next day or two, I am going to really focus on, as always, in my case, choosing the right time, preparing myself in the right way, but just sticking to it. Because I know that it doesn't matter if I take out alcohol, it doesn't matter if I take out social media, it doesn't matter if I take out sugary foods. If I don't take that out, if I don't take weed out, it doesn't mean anything. Nothing means anything. Nothing means anything, guys. Because you're continually blunting your emotions. Exactly the same way you do with alcohol. And so, you know, it's got to the point where it's got to the point where I am telling myself very similar things to when I was, a, when I, I took up, you know, drinking alcohol. I'd been smoking weed for years and years and years. Yes, I'd drink on the odd occasion, but my day to day substance day-to-day -day addiction was, was weed. And it just got to the point where I was feeling exactly like I am now. Um, I, I felt very um, just uncomfortable socially because when you smoke weed, I, I didn't want to socialize with people. All of the conversations that I was having happened in here. And I was also you know, watching a hell of a lot of YouTube, a lot of long form content, which meant that you know, uh, not only am I not having any conversations with any real people, but the only conversations I'm having are in my head and also listening to other people, not being able to converse back. And it just led me to the point where I was like, fuck man, I need to give this shit up. What can I do? Like, you know, I'll do anything. And what I did was I picked up the bottle instead. And now, I'm, you know, I'm feeling those same feelings and I, I need to do it again. After a long period of time, been smoking every day, yes, I've had alcohol included, but I've taken that out now. I am in the exact same position. I need to, I need to remove it. The only difference now is that I can't, I simply cannot lean on alcohol to help me with that. And it's gonna be super, super fucking just uncomfortable and difficult. But just like any other addiction that I've taken out recently, as long as I get past that first day, It just gets easier. 
I've got nothing philosophical around that to say, it just gets easier. Because, yes, you may be physically or psychologically addicted to something, but some nights you actually don't really want to do it. Like some nights I don't, you know, it's gotten late, I'm feeling tired already. Why would I want to smoke? Or why would I want to drink on top of that? I should just go to bed, get a good night's rest, and wake up the next day. But you're in such a habit. It is part of your daily routine. If you don't do it, you feel like you're really missing out. And so it's... it's it's about breaking that and after the first day of not doing it you realize that it is just a habit and you don't have to do it and you can move on and then I can just look at the world with a, just a because I mean you get hangovers from alcohol and I'll say I'll say this right now depending on the amount you smoke depending on how close to bed close to going to bed you smoke depending on the type of weed you smoke you still get a hangover you get a weed hangover it's different it's different, but it's, it's still bad, and it affects your day negatively the next day. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll delve into this more so um, in future videos. Obviously, I am going to vlog the first few days of, of quitting it. I feel like it's important. It's important to me. These videos do help me, um, and they're certainly going to help me, and they're going to help other people because it's... Yeah, it's daunting. It's daunting to quit anything. But it's the sleep. It's the, it's the, it's the luxury. I call it luxury, but you get a hangover the next day. So it's like, it's not really a luxury, but the luxury of smoking and, and getting into bed and knowing, basically, that you're gonna go to sleep relatively quickly and you're gonna sleep for like seven or eight hours, if not more. It's a luxury that's really, really hard to give up. It's scary to give up because I know how I feel when I'm really tired. Um, I, you know, I'm, I, I'm a wreck. And it's, it's, it's the thought of, of feeling like that after tossing and turning that first night, maybe even the second night, maybe even the third night. That's what stops me from doing it and that's what scares me. But I do know from previous experience that, you know, during the first week, it should get a lot easier. And uh, I just got to face the music. I have to face the music. I have to face the music now. Whilst weed is legal for me to go and buy. I have to do it in this comfortable environment. Away from the western world. Because I know that if I can't tackle this. And I insert myself back into the world and have a job, a full-time job that I've got to work and I've got to look after my kids and I, I, I have to do activities with them and I, I want to and I want to uh, cook good food for them and I don't want to make terrible choices uh, with, with my own food which then affects them. I want to be able to wake up in the morning not thinking first thing about any substance. I want to be able to wake up fresh. I want to be able to wake up and, and, and tackle the day and have good thoughts, positive thoughts, not negative thoughts, not regrets. And I know it's possible and I have to achieve that or at least the first few days of that whilst I'm here in Thailand. That's what I came here for and we're doing it slowly but surely. Obviously today's video is around alcohol but the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of if I don't remove weed as well I'm just in, I'm in just a, a bad, of a, bad of a place. Um, because if I'm living a life where I, because you know If I'm living a life where I feel like I need something to do anything, whether that be coffee to get up in the morning, whether that be alcohol to socialize, or whether that be weed to go to sleep at night, shit's fucked. <laughs> it's, it's no life. It is no life. You are controlled by substances. I'm just completely over it. But I know there's going to be some boredom. I know there's going to be times where I just don't feel like doing anything. And you know what? I've got to be okay with that. But I don't have social media to help with, you know, passing time. So it's going to be an interesting experience, but it's an experience that needs to happen 
and I am going to do it either tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned.